Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here on NBA 2K24, rebuilding the Washington Wizards. And this is a squad, they don't have much of a direction. As a matter of fact, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with these dudes. But, I mean, we have some pieces. Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole will obviously be the centerpiece of this rebuild. Tyus Jones is a nice piece. You know, maybe we look to re-sign him moving forward. Kuz, I might trade depending on how well he progresses, but at 28, in about five years, he's probably not going to be that much of a help. Gafford, he's cool, I guess. A little bit of a contract on him, though. Delon Wright will probably be gone. Corey Kispert, I guess, will just try to keep developing. Gallo will be gone. Asvida, uh, yeah, Asvida, I believe is how you say it, right? Um... We're going to keep trying to develop him. I mean, 22 years old, 76 overall. Same thing with Kisper, 24 years old, 77 overall. Um, and then Bilal Kouabale from France. We're going to give him, I mean, he's probably going to need to start in small forward just because, one, we really have nobody else. And two, I mean, we have Kuz, but I'm going to play him at a three. And two, we want to see him develop. Um, also got Johnny Davis, 10th overall pick from a couple years ago. Patrick Bowen Jr. is an interesting piece. Ryan Rollins. So, yeah. This is an interesting group. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, is there anybody we can trade here? We'll trade Shamit. And we'll just look for some trades for some guys, and I'll tell you if I find anything. So, we're embracing the youth movement here. Tyus, Jordan Poole, Kyle Kuzma, Denny Vita, Daniel Gafford. Cool Bali is going to be the sixth man playing 28 a game. Kispert at 25. Patrick Ball in 17. Johnny Davis, 10. DeLon Wright, 5. That's how the rotations are going to go. We're going to go up to the deadline and probably trade off some of our veterans. Uh, but I'll see you. So, we started off 2-18. and 18. We end up 11-39. and 39. My Lord. Let's take a look at some of these stats here. So, Poole, 22 a game, two rebounds, three assists, not good from three. Um, Kuz, 18. Tyus, 13, four, 2.2 turnovers, very on Tyus Jones like. Pat Baldwin, okay. About 11 points a game. Horrific efficiency, good lord. Ajvita, 10.5. Seven and a half, so that's solid, but golly. Send these boys, put these dudes in the gym. Kuobale, I don't even want to look at his. 41, 27. Oh, oh. Alright, who's the number one pick in the draft going to be? Okay, so this is Ron Holland, Mateus Buzelis, Justin Edwards, Isaiah Collier, all those dudes. So hopefully we look out and get a stud. Um, we will trade some of these guys, though, so I will let you know when I find a trade for them. Sending Gallo to the Pacers for Aaron Neesmith. Um, solid deal. Now we're sending Landry Shamit and Anthony Gill to the Sixers for Paul Reed and Furkan Korkmaz. And then we're sending Mike Muscala and DeLon Wright to the Pelicans for this foreign guy. And a Milwaukee first-round pick. Boom. Um, so the reworked roster now looks like Tyus, and then this guy, um, Jordan Poole, Johnny Davis, Korkmaz, uh, Kuzma, Kispert, Neesmith, and Kulbali, and Patrick Baldwin, um, Ajvita, and Paul Reed, and then Daniel Gafford. Um, so we're going to need to look for a center in the offseason, uh, but I'll fix the game plan, and then we'll see you then. So we finished the season just to take over 20 wins. Uh, you see here are all the awards. Definitely didn't get any of these, anything, anywhere. We're going to the draft because we should get the number one overall pick. Dubs won the championship. Curry is your finals MVP. All right, let's go to the draft lottery. The Rockets have our pick. Okay, so it was protected. Thank goodness. It fell down to five. Jazz get number one. Um, so we're adding another top five player to this team. I was about to say, if we... Won 24 games for the daggum Rockets to get our pick. Buzelis goes number one. Rod Holland, two to the Pacers. Cody Williams to the Hornets. Isaiah Collier to the Raptors. And so I think this is pretty easy. It's going to be Justin Edwards. 
Um, I had him at number one in my latest mock draft video. Uh, not really a thought there. We also have the 52nd overall pick, and who, who cares? We're simming. Edwards comes out as a 77 overall. Buzelis and Ron Holland were the top two guys in this class. But 77, that's pretty good. I think that was tied for the second highest. Um, so we're going to bring him in. Jermaine Boyd, we're going to let. Well, we're not going to sign him. Um, Johnny Davis, no need to bring him back. We will bring Pat Baldwin Jr. back, though. Um, and let's see. Do we have any money? Jared Butler, we're not going to give that to. We will give it to Ajvita and uh, Aaron Neesmith. Let's see here. How do we have negative $29 million in cap? Boom. So... We're going to end up having to renounce the rights on both Ajvita and Aaron Neesmith, but we bring in Devin Vassell, so that's fine. I mean, that's not really a big... Okay, so now we are going to renounce the rights on all of these guys. OG Ananobi is a Washington Wizard, so that's going to be our big free agent signing. Yeah, Avdia wanted like $80 million dollars which is insanity, and I didn't even know how to pronounce his name, so he's gone. Um, kind of a bust in Washington. Kuz, 84, but our new duo is Jordan Poole and OG Ananobi. Corey Kispert, not bad. Uh, Kuobali up to a 75, and then, yeah, we still have Justin Edwards as well, so just going out there and bringing in all the wings in the world. I think we are going to trade Kuz, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to try to trade Kuz for a point guard. All right, we're making this trade here with the Hornets. Rozier will be our starting point guard, and then we also bring in Mark Williams. I know I just did a Hornets rebuild, so we just did a rebuild with them, but I kind of like that deal. So now we have, uh, oh, whoops, Kemba. Kemba is on the squad. Uh, let's move Rozier to a point guard. He goes down. So he goes up as a small forward, but down as a point guard. What? So we got Rozier. And Michic, is that how you pronounce it? Um, Jordan Poole, OG, and Justin Edwards. We will probably move OG to the three and like Koulibaly to the four. We'll see how that works out. And then we also got Paul Reed there. And then Mark Williams and Daniel Gafford at center as well as Balake. All right, here are the year two rotations. Terry Rozier, Jordan Poole, OG, Paul Reed, and Mark Williams. Defensively, the three through the five is elite. I'm not sure how good Justin Edwards is defensively, but you also got Kubale, Gafford coming off that bench. So hopefully we can win more than 25 games. I'm going to go up to the deadline, and I might trade Gafford, but we will see. Um, so we'll head up to the trade deadline. And So I did just notice um, that my OBS cut out, so I don't know how much we got recorded. It shouldn't have cut out, I think, you're up to date with like Jordan Poole, OG, Mark Williams, all those moves. But 37 and 14 is the record. What is going? What in the world is happening right now in Washington? Well, I'll tell you. Justin Edwards is having an elite rookie season. Okay, Jordan Poole, 22 a game. Justin Edwards, 20 a game, seven rebounds, two assists, a steal. 52% shooting from the field, 45% from three. Hadn't even started a single game. Maybe he needs to be in 25 minutes. Rozier is having a bounce back here. 17 a game. Five and a half assists at that point guard spot. Not very efficient. Whatever. Um, Mark, 13 and 11. Better numbers than he ever had in our Hornets rebuild. OG only 12, which is somewhat concerning. But Paul Reed, 10 and 10. Heck of a year. Kispert, nine points. Kuobale only 7 points. He's up to a 77 overall, though. Um, and we're not trading anybody. We're not touching this team, except... Yeah, we're not even touching the team. We're 37 and 14. We're going to the end of the year. 56 and 20. What? What? This man shot it better from 3 than he did from the field, almost. No way. No way. But we do have the 6th man of the year. And it's a fun time to be a Washington Wizards fan, all right? Anybody on the all-defensive teams? No. But we do get Justin Edwards there. All-rookie team. Where are we at? 
56 wins gets us the two seed. I was not expecting that this year, but we will take on the Indiana Pacers here in uh, like look at last year. Anyway, we're playing Tyrese at PG as a Pacer. They got Ron Holland back, Ben Matt. This is a squad low key. Um, but we take game one, they take game two, we take game three in Indy, go up 3-1, 3-2, uh-oh, 3-3, three, three. all right, Simcast, in year one, defending home court, oh yeah, if we lose this game, I will be flabbergasted. But, yeah, we're going to pull away and win here. 134 to 106. Pull with 25. Mark with 19 and 14 in a closeout game. OG had 22. Nice to see him coming along. Um, speaking of stats, let's look at this year's stats. Kind of the same as when we stopped in at the deadline. Um, Rozier didn't have as good as the second half. But still, overall very solid. Now we're playing the Orlando Magic, Drew Holiday, Jalen Suggs, LeBron. This is the wildest. Holy cow. LeBron is in Orlando. Is Bronny down there? Does not seem so. Aaron Bradshaw was their pick. But we're in the second round already. Um, taking on Bron. And it's 1-1. 2-2. And can we close it out at home? We can. We're at the conference finals year two. Oh, I was not expecting this squad right here to make a conference finals run. But, I mean, here we are. Playing against the Boston Celtics. And, you know, with their low, they added DeMar. I mean, this is a squad. Um, we're a little deeper, though, I feel like. 1-1. One, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fighting back. And we lose in six. Uh, all right. I was not expecting a championship anyways. And Poole was a monster. Justin Edwards is hes a dog. OG was better in the playoffs, which is good. Paul Reed, he's a dog. Uh, Mark Williams, 15 and 10. You love to see that from Mark. Um, but let's go ahead and go up to the offseason here. I don't really think we should, we will have a pick. Getting to pick up old dude last year, that, that I mean, that's good enough. I don't need to make another draft pick the rest of the time. Um, looking at qualifyings, we're not going to extend that to uh, Rollins, but Corey Kispert has become a nice little piece for us. Um, we are going to make one trade, and that is Daniel Gafford. I'm sorry, my man. You're just making a lot of money. We're actually going to send him to New Orleans for Donovan Klingon, and this is a heck of a deal for us um, because Klingon is making about $10 million less, and he's 21 years old, seven foot two. So you got Mark at seven foot with a nine foot nine inch standing reach, and then you got Donovan Klingon at seven two as our bigs. Um, Paul Reed at the four. I like this team a lot. Let's go see. Do we have any cap space? We got about twenty million. So let's see here. Who can we? All right. So Kisper's back on the qualifying. We did sign a couple of guys. Um, we bring in Trey Lyles, three years, twenty-five, and then we actually did bring back Michich. I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, but looking at the squad, OG up to an eighty-five, pull up to an eighty-four. Justin Edwards is insane, bro. Mark up to an eighty-two. Kispert up. Um, Rogier starting to decline. Not great. Guabale, okay. Clinging up. All right, I, I like this team. I'm starting to like the way this team is shaping up. So it turns out we're not even going to use Trey Lyles or Micic this year. But we got a pretty loaded squad, I feel like. Rogier to 79 is eh. But Poole, OG, Paul Reed, Mark Williams, and then Justin Edwards is going to win another six man of the year, probably. Yeah, he's going to go crazy. But this is the squad. That's the rotations. Let's see if we can win us an NBA championship. So, um, I made a mistake. However, we won a championship. Um, as you can see here, Justin Edwards wins the Finals MVP Award. 26 points a game, 8.5 rebounds. 
This was going to be the final year of the rebuild, but you know what? I'll show you the path here. We beat the Magic, beat them like a drum, beat them in five, and then we beat the Hornets in six. I mean, they had a decent squad, nothing special. Um, then we beat the Knicks. We really had a Mickey Mouse run, it felt like, and then we beat Zion, Bobby Portis, and company. But, yeah, since I forgot to hit record, um, I guess we'll do one more year. But this was the roster that brought it home. That, that's kind of wild. That is not the best roster in the world. But we will have to make some decisions this year. Um, I don't think we should have any picks, really. I cannot believe I forgot to hit record, bro. So, yeah, we're picking at 30. Let's try to go back-to-back. -back. Um, it's tough, but let's try to do it. So, we will go. Well, we're just going to sim through the draft. We don't need to make our pick. It really doesn't matter. It's an auto-generated. Louis Battle. What a stud. Um, and we'll sign We'll sign all of our rookies. Just because Justin Edwards, we're accepting. Cool Bale, we're accepting all the options except for Mr. Mason. Um, qualifying, Mark Williams. Okay, we do need do need to bring Mark back. Um, honestly, let's see, who did... So I think Kispert is free agent. Holy point guard. We got Rozier, Micic still, although we do need a starting point guard. Um, between those four guys, we got that covered. Lyles, also Paul Reed is a free agent. Let's see where he's at. Actually... We should have bird rights, right? Kisp Kisper, what in the world? Why in your right mind, after averaging 10 points a game, what makes you think you need $36 million? Paul Reed wants a lot of money as well. We're just going to give him that, um, and we have bird rights on him. So, with that being the key fact, boom. Bringing in Aaron Gordon. Paul Reed's coming back. The defense... On this team will be impeccable. What? So what I had to do, I guess, was sign Paul Reed first. Well, that's unfortunate. <sighs> it's all right. We're still gonna get more. So Justin Edwards up to an 88 overall franchise player. OG's an 88. Mark. Mark. He got his new contract and decided he was gonna turn up. Jordan Poole. Um. Yes, yeah, so this is a squad. Donovan Klingon, Kuabale. We still don't have a, really a point guard, but it's all right. Rozier didn't. Let's go. Let's go defend our championship, baby. I still cannot believe, bro, that I didn't record it. But it's all right. Justin Edwards finally cracking the starting lineup. Good for you, buddy. Um, Jordan Poole will now come off our bench for the year. Let's go win another NBA championship. I will see you guys in the playoffs. So, since we didn't record the last championship, the boys said, all right, run it back. We're going to win 65 games in the regular season. Luke is still somehow going to win the MVP over Justin Edwards. But we get Coach of the Year, Exec of the Year. Very honored with that award. Thank you so much. Um, Justin Edwards, All-League Second Team. We are the one seed. Let's see who we'll be playing in round one. The Magic for the third consecutive year. Um, Anthony Black, Jet Howard, Franz Wagner, Paula Wendell. So not a terrible team. They also added Jeremy Sohan there. But let's take a look at our stats on the year. Justin Edwards, 27 a game. He's up to a 90 overall. Also 10 rebounds. He's crazy. Pool, 18 a game. Mark Williams, 16 and a half. 10 block and a half. Rozier, 16 and a half. He has been very solid, even at age 33. Shout out to Terry Rozier. OG, his best scoring year so far. Klingon, 10.5. Cool Bale never really developed into what we wanted him to be offensively, but, you know, he's still solid defensively. All right, let's win another championship here. Got the Magic round one. Bring the brooms out. Now we're playing the Heat. They got Bronny. And Bronny's in South Beach. This is a squad. Low key Jaron, Scotty Barnes, Tyler Hero, Patrick Williams. Defense on this team is good, but it's not good enough for us. Um, 3-1 and 4-1. How is this team? This team does not feel like a super team. I should not have this much confidence. And oh boy, we're playing 2K's favorite team. And they have Jason Tatum. This could end badly. 1-1. 2-1. 2-2. Big game five. They win it. 
Game seven. Game seven in Washington. Let's go, baby. Pull it out. Oh, easy. Easy. Wasn't even close. An absolute blowout victory. Justin Edwards averaged 30 a game. Um, put 44 on him in Game 7. And a rematch with the New Orleans Pelicans. We got two 90s. Mark Williams. We got an 87 coming off the bench. They got... Oh, they got Grayson Allen in their starting lineup, and they really think they can compete with us. Come on now. Come on now. 2-2? Ah. Uh-oh. Okay. Bring it home. Back-to-back -back championships, even though y'all didn't get to see the first one. Justin Edwards with a horrible series, but oh well. We've done it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Built the, Pist or built the Wizards into a dynasty. Um, by far the worst team in the league right now, I feel like. And, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to like button, leave me a comment down below. Right now, the 2K Rebuilds will be on the main channel, but once the season starts, you know, they're probably going to go over to the second channel. So make sure to go check that out. Um, I've definitely linked it in a video. Uh, but, yeah, with that being said, make sure to like button, leave me a comment down below, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching today's video.